Hey guys, what's up? Nash here from my geek review with StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm Collector's Edition Unboxing. So, let's dig in and take a look. Got our trusty pocket knife right here, guys. And let's just open it right up, being very careful, of course, not to damage the box. And this is not going to be just an unboxing, guys. It's going to be a comparison between the original Collector's Edition for, Heart for StarCraft II, Wing of Liberty, versus Heart of the Swarm Collector's Edition, which I have right in front of me. So, first thing I notice when I'm looking at Heart of the Forms is that the only physical item you get besides the game and the CD is a mouse pad. While last game, you got a flash drive with the original StarCraft on it, which was pretty cool. And with Diablo 3, you got a flash drive with Diablo 2 on it. But, that's alright. With StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm, you get a mouse pad, so that's pretty cool. Plus the in-game content, the Baneling pet for World of Warcraft, the wings, for your Diablo character, which like the wings for the Diablo 3 Collector Edition, are more than likely going to be a per character basis and they'll be a count bound so you won't be able to trade them. You'll be able to right click them, there'll be a cosmetic item that just unfurls, much like Tyrael's Angel Wings. You also get three custom in-game portraits, well not custom necessarily, you get three in-game portraits for the Collector Edition for StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. You also get a special in-game Ultralisk skin. So without further ado, let's take a look at this. I'll just toss that down there. So, just like the first Collector's Edition, same style box, but this time instead of some blue, you've got the purple here, and instead of the Wings of Liberty logo for Rainer's Raiders, Terran, you got the Zerg Swirl. So, it opens up the same way. Let's take this little thing off the back. Lid comes off really easily, just like the last one. Collector's Edition, beautifully written at the top here, or rather printed. Interior paneling, very nice. Just like a Blizzard Collector's Edition, very beautiful box, very beautiful art. You don't want to ruin it. So I'm just going to put this behind here, and we'll begin. So the first things that we're going to see here, we've got the behind the scenes DVD. You've got your standard StarCraft II, World of Warcraft guest passes. Not really important, but we'll put those out anyways. The next big thing you see is, ah uh, ha ha. The game DVD, guys. The game DVD. This is probably the most important part of the box set because obviously you want the CO to play. So, no DVD, unless you want to wait for the digital download, and the servers are going to be jammed for the next couple of days because obviously it is release day, so you're going to want the DVD to install it. Let's pull out the mouse pad. Now, this is a beautiful mouse pad, a Zerg Rush mouse pad. Very nice artwork. Always, always excellent art from Blizzard. That's one thing they do really well is art. Um, Metzen is an amazing artist. If you've ever been to the museum at Blizzard's campus down in Irvine, um, if you ever had the pleasure of it, you'll know that they have a little museum there. And they have original drawings from Chris Metzen from Samwise DDA. So art is one big thing that Blizzard does right all the time. Next thing, uh, the soundtrack. Uh, one more thing Blizzard games are great for is their amazing soundtracks. I personally love the soundtrack to Wings of Liberty, Burning Crusade, Breath of the Lich King. Amazing soundtracks. One more great thing Blizzard does. That did not just happen, guys. Alright. And those guest passes weren't that important. Anyways, we'll be giving those away to you guys for free as some really cool geek ways. So at the bottom of this video, leave your name and your email, and if you win, we'll send you a guest pass code for a geek away. So now that these three seem to want to work, we'll pull out the the art book. Heart of the Swarm art book filled with beautiful art from the game. Let's carefully, carefully, carefully open this up. Just toss that down there again. Like I said, guys, beautiful art. I'm not going to bother going through the whole book. If you've collected editions yourself, you know what this is like, so you have one yourself, so you can see it. Um, down to the comparisons between this and Wing of Liberty Collector's Edition. Same box style, same um, inserts, you've got the game soundtrack, the behind the scenes DVD, and of course the game DVD. Like I said, Wing of Liberty did not come with an awesome mouse pad, but it came with a flash drive, which in my opinion, is far better. It had the original StarCraft on it, and it was Jim Rayner's flash drive. His dog tag 
from battle was a flash drive. Diablo had Diablo Skull, Soul Stone flash drive. So I was expecting something really cool, a really cool flash drive in this one. Unfortunately, they didn't give it to us. So what can we do? Soundtrack wise, I'm gonna have to say I haven't listened to it yet. I had the beta, I didn't have a chance to really play it. Yeah, so busy creating other content for you guys with the rest of the team here at My Geek Review. The soundtrack should be really interesting. I'll pop it in later. Behind the scenes DVDs, pretty standard. Shows you the making of, shows you maybe a couple of Easter eggs, although I highly doubt it. Blizzard does love to keep their Easter eggs, well, Easter eggs. So, I'd have to say, compared to the Wings of Liberty box set, the HOTS box set, Heart of the Swarm, HOTS, whichever you want to call it, does not compare. Wings of Liberty box set, while somewhat lacking, of course, because it was their first box set for StarCraft 2, is superior to the Heart of the Swarm box set, just, in my opinion, being the flash drive alone. Alright guys, once again, you've got your behind-the-scenes DVD, your game DVD, your game soundtrack, your art book, and your mouse pad. Don't forget, guys, there are other goods. There is, there is of course, the Feet of Strength in World of Warcraft for Heart of the Storm Collector's Edition. There's the Feet of Strength in StarCraft for Heart of the Storm Collector's Edition. There's probably a Diablo Feet of Strength as well. And you get, in World of Warcraft, you get a new Battle Pet for the Battle Pet Arena. You get a Baneling. In StarCraft 2, you get three Zerg-infested portraits. And in Diablo, you get the unfurling of the Queen of Blades, Skeleton Bony Wings, Zerg Rush Wings, and the Banner Sigil. So it's definitely a good game. And it's definitely got a lot more in-game content than Wings of Liberty did. So on that, I've got to give it props. And the best in-game piece of all would have to be probably the Terrasque Basilisk, which is a, I wouldn't say custom, but it's a unique collector edition only version of the Ultralisk for the Zerg. i definitely say that Heart of the Storm was like a really great game. It's going to be really interesting. It's going to be a good play. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about aesthetics. We're talking about the boxes comparing to each other. And Wings of Liberty definitely outranks it. Out of five... I have to give this one a 3, which is already 4. So it's not a huge outrankment, but it's an outrankment nonetheless. So for my geek review, guys, this is Nash, and this has been a Heart of the Swarm Collection Edition unboxing. <laughs>